we're hopping back in this. We were trying to wake up with some coffee over here. Oh, and some fake yawns. Oh, uh, can we get pack one, pick one? Um, yeah. This pack's not bad, but it's not great either. Like, I know where my heart would rather lean. Like, you'd rather just see an Inspiring Angel or a Jeweled Thief or um, some kind of uh, other card to make this choice a lot easier. So, uh, I don't think the Ascendancy is worth it. Uh, I just don't think it's that good, to be honest. I think it's all right, but I don't think I would, like, prioritize it. Uh, if it comes back off the wheel, like, I think we're going to pick Rocco in this first pack. If the Ascendancy comes off the wheel, then, we'll, you know, we'll take it. But I think I'd rather have Rocco than the Ascendancy. Rocco generates instant value, especially in a very quick format like this one. If it wasn't Rocco, it would probably be between the Official and the Regulator. There was a glitch with the Witness where the cards wouldn't exile. Like, they would stay exiled for, like, an extra turn. It, it was just a terrible glitch. Uh, pack two, we see two interesting, well, three interesting cards. So there's an Entourage, which would keep us in our colors. There is a Girder Goons. Then there's a Quick Draw Dagger. Um, there's also a Caldia Strong Arm over here. So I'm trying to think in my head how we can spin this. Um, I could pick up the Girder Goons here and attempt to get into a Red Black Shell. Or I could just take the Elegant Entourage um, and keep trucking it forward. Um, I think that's the play for now. I think Rocco is just a little better. Rocco and five gets you a two. Rocco and six gets you another three drop. But I mean, it's, it's really close battle here. Clo at least in my mind. Hmm. Or maybe we like the Girder Goons more. I mean, I am just a degenerate for black stuff. Nah, we only have one. All right. <laughs> we'll go down that path. Um, and there's a Cabaretti Servant. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think we're definitely glad that we took this. <laughs> the Entourage now. Uh, Civil Servant's not bad for the two-drop slot. Hypnotic Grifter's not bad if you're in the blue. Rose Gallery is better if you have, like, three colors um, that you're actively playing. Backup agent's always fine. Riveter's charm just shouldn't exist. It's not bad for filler, but I'm not. I'm not taking it. Uh, veteran's fine. Most wanted. No, no, no. For the family, it would be good on the wield, but uh, for here, it's just gonna be servant. Wow, there's a requisitioner there. There's also a bootlegger right here. Huh. Interesting. Really, nothing that we want here. So I think I'm gonna prioritize the land here, and here's why. And this is not that good of a card. He's fluff and filler. You can find one at any point in this draft, trust me. Um, no one's really fighting to take this card. It should be like pick 9, pick 10, pick 11, pick 12. It just goes way down the line. Requisitioner is good. Um, maybe Requisitioner. No, we're not trying to play uh, uh, red, green, or something like that and splash white. I'd rather play the, the better uh, allied color, green, white. So that's why we're not playing Requisitioner. And then this is this is Commander's card. It's not bad in this format, but if you have six mana, you can actively play everything here. You don't you don't need a mana sink. There's nothing in this format that I think just hits face. Mm, this pack is also kind of cheeks, if I'm being honest. Mr. Orpheo is pretty good, though. I think I'd rather just take the Botanical Plaza, though. I think Rocco is better than Mr. Orpheo. Mr. Orfeo? Is it Orfeo or Orfeo? Is he a rhino? Yes, he is. Huh. Learning new things. Um, yeah, I think it's just Botanical Plaza here. Civic Gardener is not terrible. Actually, you know what? No, we can get a Civic Gardener wherever. Let's just take the land here. Lands you don't get wherever. Civic Gardeners, though, they are a dime of plenty. Um, I like Spar's Educators here. So even though we are in green, white, red... Uh, Spar's Educators can be crossed over pretty easily, just because you can um, either create a treasure or you can um, uh, use the second ability to make a land tap for blue, and then you have them on five. I think I'm down with that play. Uh, I feel like we can get a prize fight somewhere else. Or maybe, we, how, how strong are our creatures right now? Raka is pretty, uh, pretty weak face. Maybe, do we want to be fighting? 
let's try the fight. Let's try it. All right, that. Oh, well, that's, this isn't pack one, but Claudia Strong Arm coming back around is pretty nice. There is another Claudia Strong Arm. Wow, pick eight. Court Official and Strangle. Wild. Um, huh. I guess we'll take the Ravelers. Not happy about it, but we'll take it. We need a lower curve. That is a lot of strong arms. Maybe we just want the parcel here. I don't think we're playing three strong arms. Like, we play string arms into uh, for four. Just put them on a flyers. If we get flyers, though, if we don't, it just feels bad. Hmm. We would need flyers, though. That's that, That's what we're missing. We have a lot of pumps. A lot. Uh, so maybe we play for the family, then? And maybe we also lower the curve. Are we kind of like a uh, green-white aggro deck? With uh, not many T-drops to really uh, begin the aggro? I don't think I want that one drop green card, though. I'd rather have, like, backup agent or something. See, an issue came all the way back around. We're, we're happy taking it here. Not happy, but it's fine. Blocks early. Pairs up well with the uh, civil servant. I think nine times out of ten you're going to blitz these guys out. Nine times out of ten. So, the choice was between a black card that's not being played, and then we are, like, red also. So, that's where we play the red. Um, in this pack, I'm almost tempted just to take the Skycrier or the Hold for Ransom. Uh, these are all very far out of our colors. Talaz is very good. Uh, I'm coming down on Angel, though. I, I forgot that it requires a counter. So, I should play, like, a very counter-y deck. Larsness I've come down on. I like one or two, but I mean, even then, like, your mana base needs to be, like, immaculate. I still think he's good, Mr. Orfeo. I, I think he's good. But uh, Hold for Ransom hasn't treated me wrong at all, so we're going to pick it up here. And then we get past, uh, do we want the Throng Gang? We're at eight, or do you just take a dagger here? I'm almost tempted to take the dagger. We don't have a lot of flying. It feels like we're going to be grinding on the ground. Let's just grab a dagger. And then here, we are just not seeing a lot of the two drops. Is it just another entourage? I would believe so. I don't think we're going to play by our silence. Like, there's a world where I might. I'm not happy about it. Light em up's not absolutely terrible. Maybe just pick up the second entourage then. Mage's attendant is not bad though. There's another hold for ransom. Do we just take a hold for ransom? Because our two drop slot is so sad. Yeah. If you're not playing things at two and your opponent does, you might as well just kiss your game goodbye. Just, just punt. Unless they too didn't draft well. Like, you both agree that, hey, listen, you know, we're not playing good magic. I feel like that's far in between. Like, normally when our opponent misses a two drop, we feel better. It's like when your opponent goes down to five. <laughs> you're like, okay, cool. I'm trying to think what we can do here. I, I wouldn't mind some guys that makes bodies. I might even just take the socialite here over... You know what? I might actually just take the third hold for ransom. You know what? <laughs> we already have nine creatures. Yeah, I'm fine with that here. I'm completely fine with that. If I can find me some better two drops, though. Having one civil servant is terrible. One Rocco? Like, everything is so high up right now.
Are we like, are we being contested like right next to us? I even we get three drops. That'd be a bit better. I feel. I feel it in my heart of hearts. Uh, hello? Pack hogs? Hello? These are all names I am not familiar with. Are you serious? That's a very late soul of emancipation. Very late. Man, the rest of this pack is garbage. How is this happening? Okay. Uh, just the cap ready initiate? Like, I really don't want to play it. But I mean... Ah, uh, there's another throng. There's also a hold for ransom. I think we just take the throng here. I tell you, I'm not happy about this. <laughs> That other throng, sadly... Oh, no, this is only pick eight. I don't think the other throng's going to wield, though. I think we're just going to take the rare here. I'm not playing Glittermonger. You, you can't pay me to play that card. The Sky card came back around. That's actually worth it. Sky Cry with three strong arms. Seems, seems nice. I'd still like maybe like three more two drops. I, I want to be like super low, you know, like real aggressive. Pummeler as a potential finisher to get rid of the Rakish Revelers. Maybe. Maybe. Because Revelers can pay for himself. And that's two triggers of the Entourage. But uh, we'll see which one we like more. Structural Assault is just one of the more terrible board wipes. Uh, I feel like if your opponent has treasures and uh, that would wipe his board, I think he would just sack his treasures in response. Ready to rumble, same reason. It's just so weird. Like, it costs five mana at sorcery speed. I don't I don't get this. I don't get it. Um, I don't think there's a world where we play most wanted, but we can just take one of these cards. So we can have the fourth one. Halo Scarab, there's a world where he makes it. There's a world. Or oh, actually, no, it's just Socialite. Yeah, because Socialite grows. Okay, okay. So we got some more two drops, and then we just get a bomb. That's the bomb. One target creature, put a plus one, plus one counter, and a counter from among flying, first strike, lifelink, or vigilant on it. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Like. If this wasn't here, it would be Overseer. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna take the Darling of the Math. I mean, uh, the Elspeth. What if we pass it to? It's gonna be like really confused. They're gonna see that we took the rare and go, "Well, I'm, I'm gonna assume it was a bomb because Darling's still in here." Backup agent, Overseer, Regulator. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good cards that are still in here. There goes another Gathering Throng, but there's just a Jeweled Thief in here. So we're gonna take our Throng out, put in Jeweled Thief. Whack and Dust Mangler, huh? I'm trying to think, what do I like more? Thief or two throngs? If I get a third throng, now we're rocking. Uh, yeah, let's just grab the Thief. I think I... Well, Anne and Evelyn? Are you guys... Is black just that open? Huh. Well, ah, uh, that's interesting. That's very, very interesting indeed. Let's just pick up the speakeasy server here and just pass the Evelyn. That is uh, very interesting. Knockout blow is very fine here. Another, yeah. Black's back is wide open. Wide open. I think we can get rid of one initiate. Uh, what do we have over here? 
We have one throng. Okay. The two drop slots not looking bad. I almost don't like rakish grapplers anymore, if I'm being honest. Like, what does it give us? They give us a 5-3 and a body. If I can find something else to replace it, I will easily replace it. Like a Skycrier? I think I'm cool with a Skycrier over a Rakish Reveler. What I want a warm welcome, though, right now, is the question. Let's just take the Crier here. Makes our strong arms a lot better now. I think I'm down to go down on the Rakish Revelers then. The only sad thing is this deck doesn't really grind well. <laughs> I don't know what our deck does well outside of make big things and go go boom. Oh, uh, there's another Jewel Thief here? Word. Uh, yeah, I guess we're happy with that. What do we get rid of now, huh? Maybe the initiate? Yeah. See? Initiate doesn't make the cut. <laughs> I would rather play a Jeweled Thief any day of the week. Uh, you may put a permanent card with Man of Value 3. Oh, permanent. I saw Elspeth only looks for like enchantments and whatnot, but it's any permanent, 3 or less. And then it gets a shield counter, right? With the shield counter on it, yeah, that is not bad at all. We're not taking anything in this pack. Uh, Magician might have been fine if we were still going, like, deep in the Cabaretti. The only thing I might play here is Rafine's Guidance. Um, so, actually, we might just pick up Rafine's Guidance here. It's not bad to give on to a Skycrier. Uh, the Giada's Gift, huh? Uh, I don't think it's that good, honestly. Like, yeah, we can clip it for Elspeth. That requires us to see it. So we have to see both cards in the same game. Like the game, we do see them both. It might go off. It might. But outside of that, every other game that we're just looking at, you know. Well, where's the other one? Like, if we get the... Ooh. I'm down to trade out one of our guys for a backup agent. But, um, yeah, if you get, um... What is it? Uh, uh... Oh, the throng too? Would I run two throngs now? Let's find out. What was I saying, though? Yeah, if we get, like, uh, the Giada's Gift and don't get Elspeth, then it just feels it, it feels terrible at that point. Um, we'll take Littermonger here for the collection. And tag, and, uh, you know, we'll take the Scryer. There's a world where I actually do play Cryer. It's not often that we play the Kitty Cat. Warm Welcome, too? Huh. All right, we've scrabbled up something. Something here. So let's see here. Strong arms are really forced. We're going to be blitzing them out. Um, we have too many spells. So I like strong arm. I like quick draw. I like our two prize fights. You know what? Down a prize fight. I forgot we have three hold for ransoms, which is so insane. And then I'm cool with a deck like this. Or would I... Do I want the for the family in here is the question. We feel pretty aggro. But I think I might rather just have another prize fight. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go down to Jewel Thief, prize fight. I'm going to go down to No Mountains. So we have four ways of making treasure that can pay for Rocco. We can always use Rocco later on. Uh, this split seems fine. The early drop is mainly green, or white, and we start to climb into green later on. So we have 8, 9, 10, 7, 8, 9. So, wait, what? Yeah, I'm stupid. 10, 17, I'm dumb. I'm like, wait, 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 that's 10, and that's 9. Uh-oh, we have 19? It doesn't work like that. <laughs> okay. 
I think we cobbled something together towards the end. It feels like this deck definitely wants to go first nine times out of ten. Mm, that's fine. We didn't want to go first. I was lying. I was lying. Alright, play tap land. So we have most of our curve here. Jet mirrors, fixins. Let's play the crier here. Cause either way we're gonna take two. Arsonist is fine. There goes a rock of no treasures just yet, which is fine. I think I can just keep developing here. I feel like he would swing. We're not going to block. Unless it's the arsonist that swings, then we'll block. All right, so he's got a pump or something. We don't mind. That's fine. I don't know why we ran from the arsonist. We were supposed to ran from the Jetman's fixer. Okay, he's got a pretty good red green deck. <laughs> and I think our Scott, our, our crier is dead. Well, never mind. He can't sack till next turn. All right, strong arm is a great pickup here. Now we can put out the crier out of range of the arsonist. He's not gonna block here. Prize fight's not bad. Though the fixer's already a little too big for us. Yeah, it's only about to get bigger. If he has removal for the crier, we're going to cry. Luckily, it's not removal. So he's going to pump the fixer, which is fine. We're cool with that. So we take six. Perfectly fine with that. Make a treasure. Wait, how, how do we get the three? What? Oh, come on. That's probably just the game. That is so unfortunate. The treasure from here, the treasure off there, then the sack. Yeah, that was good. That was good. That's annoying. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like nothing feels good here. I 
we could have kept our crier, and if we would have actually put the stupid ransom on here, I think we'd be better off. That's our fault, though. We messed up. Jewel Thief isn't doing us any favors here. So we got three mana available. Well, four mana. So let's see what happens. Four, five, six, putting us down to two. It's back breaking. Do you have a quick draw of your own? Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, actually, no, we don't have enough mana to fight, also. That's just the game. Ground decks do love themselves the quick draw daggers. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm still under the opinion that we held for ransom the wrong card. Like I even said it, we should ransom the fixer, and yet, for some reason, it was on the arsonist. I'm not, not quite sure what happened with our fingers. I don't think the message got all the way down. That arsonist for three, though, was... Did not see it. Did not see it coming. Not at all. Is, is nobody on this morning that we have to play Mythics? <laughs> okay, let's see how far a low curve can get us. Let's see it. What am I thinking here? Uh, land, land, uh, servant into crier. Attack with servant. Yeah, because the jeweled thief is a cat. I don't know why. I used to think like the background behind the uh, jeweled thief was like a cloak. Then I realized it's like broken glass. Right, yeah, we'll show him the white. We'll show it to him. Are you going to pay to play the game? Okay. We're going to attempt to run out of civil service. He could have make disappear. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, it's just a vandal. That's fine. I mean, is this going to be like uh, an informant or something or inspiring overseer on turn three? And this is why I don't like security bypass. I'm just going to hold for ransom it now. I'm going to play the Botanical Plaza and hold for ransom. Like, I... It's a two for one. <laughs> if security if, if security breach drew you a card, then I would like it better. But all he did was just shuffle around um, uh, what, what, rummaging. Or not rummaging, what do they call that? Looting, there you go, looting. Draw one, discard one. So your creature is big, or, no, 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 it's got to get ransomed. And then next turn, we can ransom again in Crier. If he's playing blue-white, he more than likely has at least an angel or two, or a regulator or two. Might even be running some green for some educators, adjudicators. I'm assuming he didn't have hold for ransom on fairy vandal in his uh, bingo book. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, mister. Yeah. That's how we play around here. <laughs> Uh, the Angel is fine, but he has no good attackers. He's two mana away from being able to unlock anything. So we have some really good tempo we can do here. I don't think he's going to block here. Hey, hey, Jodzi! Three days in a row, or two days. Welcome back, welcome back. What's on your Sunday agenda, if it is Sunday for you? I don't know if you're American time or uh, European time. Oh, he is going to block. Yeah, the card's trash anyway. card's trash. So, that's why we played our Jeweled Thief second. I, I like to give my opponent as little information as possible. So, the idea is with that swing... He has limited knowledge. He doesn't know if you have another creature, if we're bluffing. He has no idea. We'll play the socialite here. We're going to pass the turn. We do need to save that treasure for Rocco. Oh, you're the same time zone. I'm just, you know, figuring. I put 9 a.m. on my schedule of things to do. Uh, hello? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. But yeah, I think we just stream at 9 o'clock real quick. Maybe play like a game or two. And then, um, not quite sure. I, I think it's, uh, if you're on Eastern time, are you supposed to get rain today? I know we are. Because I'm on Eastern also. I think we're going to Skycrier here. It's a draw for both of us, but because it's our turn, we get more use out of it. Entourage isn't the worst hit here. So, if I waste my mana to make the thief able to do anything, I don't think that's the right play. I think we just swing for three. Player Entourage. Why do we play Entourage beforehand? Oh my, I forgot there was an alliance trigger. I forgot. <laughs> Hopefully, Josie, you have the, uh, the, the, the luxury of having a washer and dryer in your home. It, it, it's the best feeling in the world. I mean, we've had rain down here for the last two or three days. I'm kind of sick of it. I feel like the kids from Holes. I'm tired, Grandpa. <laughs> All right, so we got him on the ropes right now. Does he have broken wings? Okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. So we're going to crack the land here just to look for more things to do. Flooding out hard. Okay. Uh, let's go swinging then for four and then two. Because the two one's not going to matter too much once the duelist is back online. Well, that's too damn bad. What's going on, Mr. Phoenix? Are you arisen from the ashes? Opponent is down to five. Can we look for an answer? Can we find an answer? Listen, going out to do laundry is the worst feeling. And, like, I'm not antisocial, but going out to do laundry, I become antisocial. Like, I feel like I'm doing a bad deed. Like, don't look at me. I feel like Fazimoto. <laughs> I'm, like, hurriedly getting my laundry in there. And then, like, you want to leave. But, like, if you're in, like, a public... Why? Why does he have that card? So instead of paying us a card, he's just going to make his guys in the flyers. What are we supposed to do now? That is a bomb. You play the whole game well. Just for that to happen. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So we need removal. We need to get rid of soul emancipation for at least a turn.
So he's gonna get rid of his security bypass. Shut up! What? Bro, it's any permanent? That is so dumb! <laughs> oh my god. So you just got three blockers out of nowhere. What am I supposed to do? How do we win? That's the real question here. If I strong arm and put it onto the entourage, but it's another target creature that gets all that. If I put two on the crier, then one more. That's three putting it to four, but two of these trade into it. If I put the two on the entourage, I get rid of two of these. I think that's probably our best bet. So I think the five seven blocks here, then two of the three threes get eaten up by the entourage. Or he blocks like that. Let's see if we can fake him out here. <laughs> I don't like I have one card in here, and why would you ever like even not block that for a second? All right, a little unfortunate. But we're still getting the two flyers. Why is Soul of Emancipation such a good card? Seriously? Bro, you are overthinking this. You just block both. You make sure that there's no way I can win. <laughs> Draw a new card. Okay, that's that's pretty nice to have here. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we still have four and four mana next turn. Elspeth doesn't really save us much here. Unfortunate games. Yeah, it makes sense he's going to be conservative here. Makes sense. Um, What does Rocco grab us permanent-wise? This is where knowing our deck is so much better here. So we have another strong arm. Uh, what else do we have in our deck? Um... Hmm. In regards, we're not going to play him. So if we play you, that leaves us with three. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. So we still can go digging for five just to see what we got. And the treasure is for Rocco anyway. So we can dig for whatever we want. We know our curve's no bigger than five. Speakeasy, Jewel Thief, Backup, another Caldia. What can I make big here? Jewel Thief? And then what will be the point of making a Jewel Thief big? Is Emancipation flying? No, it is not. Okay. So if I can get an Elspeth later on or just any way of interacting with this guy. Even a Knockout Blow would kind of help. So is it just going to be Caldia Strongarm then? I believe so. Okay, so we're generating a board out of nowhere, which is nice. Question is, is does he unlock his duelist this turn? This is kind of a good game.
Okay, that's a good sign. When your opponent looks for an answer. I don't think he swings here, though. Oh, it's so annoying. Prize fight is actually pretty good here. Let's see. He has one, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four, five. Prize fight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, nine. Or one mana short. One mana short of being able to unlock Jeweled Thief and do something else. Let's just pass the turn here. Jewel Thief is our way out. The question is, is can we get there? That's the real question. I think he knows what we're attempting to do. We're trying to set up lethal. Oh, uh, that is so annoying. <laughs> That's a lot of life. That is a lot of life, good sir. Seems we're going to be fighting for a bit more. 17 cards to his 17. I just realized this. His throng didn't grab... This guy is mythic? You played a throng with no other throngs? What? Who does that? What I want to prize fight here is the question. I don't think so. I think I want to blow out. Two prize fights... Five, six, seven. Yeah, we can do it twice. So let's go activating. Uh, actually, we can't do it twice. He might just block with both his big guys. Okay, here. Okay. Ah, okay. We're still getting both your big boys. Regardless of what you do here, buddy. Um, well, no matter what, we have to take the damage. If we had anything else that was a five, I wouldn't have to take all of it. But, um. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's fine. That's fine. Then we can get rid of both of his big guys. That's very unfortunate, though, that we had to get rid of all of that. He still has two flyers remaining, which is very annoying. Ah, uh, such a dumb flyer. You know, it wouldn't be bad to draw here, Elspeth. Elspeth wouldn't be bad. Rooftop nuisance, okay.
What green? Oh, duelist. Okay, and then soul of emancipation makes sense. We were just speaking about you, buddy. Let's give it flying. Uh, we're going to pass the turn saving up prize fight. So let's see. We're going to block here. And here, just to see if we can get something out of his hand. I don't mind that. Bro, how? What? I blocked two. Yo, what the fuck? Hello? We blocked two different ones, right? That is so dumb. I'm so upset. What happened there? <laughs> like they're flying, not tramplers. Bro, that I, I believe that's what happened. That's so annoying. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, this gets so annoying. Two, four, five, six, seven. So he could unlock one. That's fine. Give us a draw. Yummy, yummy goodness. We have enough mana not to care about using prize fight on his turn. I don't think you swing here, buddy. In fact, I think I do prize fight. We don't have to tap to activate Skycrier. Then we can activate Skycrash since he only has one mana open. See if we can find an answer. Yo, Skycrash, please find us an answer. Oh. It's not the answer we wanted. I still can do it one more time. And still have enough for the dagger. Yo, this is so nutty! <laughs> Be real nice if we saw an Elspeth, huh? Alright, well, he has a whole new hand of cards. Whole new hand. Ballroom Brawlers is fine. Sewer Crocodile is fine. So he can't kill us, so we can go like this. Can we find an answer? I have... Wait, what am I doing? I, I, have, I have lethal in the air. Hold on, two mana, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, no, it's gotta be a fixer. For two mana, what can you do? You can counter something. You can have a, a, a land fixer. You can have a phase out. No, there is the bouncer that costs one if it targets green out of the way. Okay. 
But the correct... Okay, all right. Well, you still go for it. You still go for it. It worked out. Like, we're at 21 life. He's at four cards. Uh, we made him draw down to three. We can do it again. Make him draw down to two. And then on his next turn, we can deck him out. Our, our win-loss record against Mythic stays the same. We tend to beat Mythics. Against the Diamonds, though... It's just, it's something about them, man. Diamonds are unbreakable. Even platinum sometimes. Like, sometimes I just don't understand the format as well. I feel like in Mythic, they're trying stuff out. Dirtling. I, I don't know. Or forcing. Ah, uh, Sublime the Yay. We need creatures. Real bad. This, this hand's not going to work out right now. I don't know why we kept. <laughs> my, like, my mind is telling me, Mullet? Okay, well, Hold for Ransom helps out. Okay, okay. Body Dropper can get dropped. We're playing so many two drops. It's crazy not to see them so many games in a row. There goes a two drop. Look, there you go, buddy. Do I want to guidance it now? Yeah, that's fine. Now that we're doing anything else with it. And if I were him, I'd probably blitz something out here. That's normally what they do. Does one for one benefit us? No, not right now. Not when we can only play one creature. Strong arm pump you up to a 5-4. Seems fine. I'm sorry, 6-5. I forgot you had that. What a man. I feel like Negan. You see the way he took it? <laughs> Alright, he's playing a lot of crappy creatures. That's fine. He's saving up mana to initiate again. So let's see here. Could just hit him with the old razzle dazzle with, with the uh, with the dagger, or I could just play the speakeasy server here, gain two life, have two good blockers. I like that play better. He could even have a murder over there, but I think he was hoping that we would swing. We are not going to. We are just going to pass the turn. If you have a murder, you got a murder, buddy. Body drop, dig up the body potentially. I don't know why he would body drop the initiate right now. Or, oh, they're both initiates. I never realized that. Maestro's initiate in the river's initiate. Okay, yeah, dig up the body. That's fine. Go digging for some creatures. Six. Well, no, that assumes we attack and untap. So if we take two swings back to back with his board, we would just die. And he's also got an outlaw in hand, which is a... Uh... So maybe we just play the strong arm just for normal value here then? As a five drop instead of a four drop. That way we keep it on board and we don't mind losing that to the initiate. So step one, buddy, you swing. If you play that Glamorous Outlaw, I'm blocking both your tutus. I'm still blocking your tutus. Wow. 
Oh, I am surprised. Okay, so he kept up Cormella. We'll make the server into a 5-5. Five five. Hmm. I don't think trading with the socialite is the play here. Corpse appraiser is fine. He can go digging for another answer. Would be nice if we can get like um I don't know some kind of like small pump. If we had saved actually you know what we should have yeah we should have let the socialite die because we'd have lethal. We're not thinking big enough. We're still too small brained. If he swings and we can kill the socialite here, I will do it. Swing, buddy. No. <laughs> Uh, it's not quite it. That's not what we need you to do, buddy. <sighs> one short, one short. Let's see it. Murder, uh, a torch would do it. One, one, two, three, four, five. Quick draw dagger would hose that, though. I think it becomes uh, two off the X if it targets a blue creature. Actually, Cormella can make it. Uh, yeah. It, it's dependent if he wants to make it more than five. play here big boy so if speakeasy server can live for one more turn we're in better shape if not this game's pretty hard what is he looking for oh the charm interesting so that's all of his mana. I think we just might have the game. Charm deals five damage to our creature planeswalker. That's fine. That's fine. If he had led with the charm, we'd be in more trouble. Yes, sir -de do Yes, sir -de do <laughs> A murder would have hosed us, though. A murder would have really sucked. It's a good thing his uh, only removal was the charm. It was in the graveyard. So he had to put in more resources just to get towards it. If that had been in hand and he had, like, two forms of interaction, that, that would have really sucked. We might need to take a turn, though, and just think just a little harder. Because we didn't even see that Guidance play until his turn. And we realized, had we swung, he would have blocked, right? Um, and then we'd get Guidance back for the next turn. And we could have just ended him there. This hand is doable. I'd like a two-drop creature, though. So we have the option of Ransom or Creature. Because now, if we do nothing... And he's playing, like, um, a more top-heavy deck. We've just pretty much allowed him into the club for free. This monster have no avatar? Bro, the beetle is free. Hello? He thinks we're saying, like, hello, hi, how are you doing? No, 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 no. 
Hello? <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, well, he'll play his two drop, and then from here we're discovered. No, we are not. So is that a counter? Let's find out. It is not. That is nice. He's playing blue-black. Yo! He thinks it's good game, but we don't have a four. We don't have a four drop. Our curve is not as good either. <laughs> Actually, we can just speak easy server here. So whenever your opponent misses land, start dropping creatures. Like that's two turns. He's done nothing, so he takes six now this turn. If he plays a removal next turn, we still have a creature. And if we can develop another creature, this is a race that we win. And the fact that he had attained it, like he had to waste his mana to draw more cards because he got cucked on lands. So I, 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 I wouldn't believe he kept the greedy start. I think he kept two lands and then he just got cucked by the algorithm. So the correct play on his part would be to play a removal here. Uh, that was not the play. So before the ability resolves, we're going to fight. He still gets a Kanai trigger, but he won't get the plus one for it. Rank is just a number, boys. Oh, that, that's that's lethal. Three, six, seven, eight. No, it's not. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's lethal. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we were able to set this up just by being more aggro. You know, that's all. That's just a non-game. That's all. Not a real game. It happens. We curse Arena out for it too. And I don't think rank really matters too much. If I'm if I'm being hundred percent honest, I think there's a dude in diamond with like a negative fifty percent win rate. That in a real ladder that shouldn't be possible. It just shouldn't. But he just plays a crap ton of games. I think he's at like 80 or maybe like 120 games right now, which is insane. I thought you could at least get the plat with a negative win rate because you can get, um, what is it? You get two wins or two pips um, towards your rank. And what is that? Um, golden below. And then after platinum, it is not so much. Let me see what this guy is at. If I look at the win rates... We're gonna scroll all the way down. Maybe I can't see him anymore because almost all the win rates are now sixty-five percent. Are you serious? No, it's ranking all the users by win rate. Okay, so now I'm only being shown the top. Okay, but if you rank it by like match wins, this hand is not the greatest, but it's fine. I think if you rank rank it by match wins, it might show him. Yeah, I think, yeah, 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 Um, yeah, it's fine. And the opponent goes down to six. You love to see it. And we have Crier into Thief um, with Araka later on. I wonder if he's going to connive an actual card. Uh, 
He indeed did. Okay. So next turn, Rocco can go looking for a two drop, but I think we want it to be like a little higher than two. If I can get a hold for Ransom for the Rafine, that would be nice. If not, we're just going to have to play this slower. Because I don't want to trade the Cry for Rafine. I'd rather Rafine just trade like for one whole creature. I'd rather treat it like it has Death Touch than it to shoot um, my, my, my evasive creature for two. That's close to five. Come on! That, that's pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. We're still not going to Rocco here. I'd rather Rocco on four for an elegant entourage, if anything. Oh, we might get hosed by this guy. That's so annoying. <laughs> Maybe we should have just speakeasy server here. What do we do instead? We held for ransom. And he got an Evelyn. The Madman. Two Evelyns. Oh, no. Okay, that's an Evelyn and a Glamorous. I right, already need two turns to do this. If he has a land, he more than likely Evelyn's us. This is this is not good. We can get rid of the civil servant here. Yeah. The grindiness of blue black begins. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, which seems pretty fine here. One, two, three. Then we can go grab a four drop. Sadly, it's not going to be the strong arm. Um, Yeah, it's fine, I guess. That's fine. What four drop do we want, though? What do we have in our deck that's really worth it? Or would I rather strong arm? I feel like I'd rather strong arm. So we're going to prize fight instead of give us another treasure. Put us closer. Luckily, that land came in tapped. I don't want to get rid of the Glamorous Thief because there's, there's loops you can do with it. So let's go digging for five. I'm like 99.9% .9 certain we're grabbing Caldia. Yeah, it's Caldia here. Put him on a three turn clock. I feel like this turn he plays Evelyn, goes digging for answers. There are no answers there. That's perfect. So we're going to hit him for five again in the air. And then we are not going to get rid of Glamorous Thief at all. So we can safely play the Socialite here and still save out Knockout Blow. He could play Glamour's Outlaw. One, two, three, four, five, six. But really, whatever he gets off the top, he can't do anything about. Yeah, that's fine. He'll get two more, but um, he doesn't have any way to like stop Reachers. His only answer would be like a, a Strangle. That's all he could do. Mm -hmm. 
playing to your win cons or your opponent's lack of win cons. Yeah, this is already at four wins. It doesn't deserve it, not at all. We're not doing anything tricky. We're just, you know, that one splash of Rocco is really working out. <laughs> I think the card we like the least in our deck so far is 100% Elegant Entourage. I don't really think it's done too much at any time it's ever come out. If we had more ways to go wide, like Rabble Rousing and Entourage, nutty. Absolutely nutty. Ah, oh, they've sent an even better assassin after us. <laughs> Mythic 200s weren't enough? Okay. We're sending Mythic number 98. Eh, dude. Eh. <laughs> um, the cool thing is, is uh, we do have Rocco. We have Jeweled Thief. We have all of our bombs. I, I would have been happier to have a two drop, though. But I'm glad he is doing that. Very glad. That's fine. I'm just going to pass the turn here. If he does nothing on his turn, then we can play out the Resplendent. But I don't think that's going to happen. Let's get rid of Entourage. We've said multiple times it's by far the worst card in our deck. The thing has Vigilance, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So, she can't die here. Let's just play her. Go plus wanting the boy. We're going to give him... So, yeah, we're going to give him a lifelink. So if he has removal, he can only do three to it, though. That's why we're not worried. Body dropper is fine here. Let's see here. Do I want a strong arm? No, I think I like back Sky Cryer and a backup agent. Make it a 5-5. Five, five. Get through all of this. Well, no, we can just give it flying now. Yeah, let's do that. So now he's got a big ol' issue in the air. Big ol' issue. Corpse Appraiser doesn't do much. He needs to find an answer. Six, seven, eight, nine. We can do ten to him in the air this turn. Uh, we are short of mana to be able to do both. Uh, two mana up, huh? I don't think it's really going to affect us much here. Let's see. Instead, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So what we do is... Hello? We put the plus one on the backup agent. Give it flying. Play the strong arm here. And this is now lethal. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Your assassin was not good enough, good sir. <laughs> that was good. That was good. 
I think he thought uh, we would just give it first strike or something. Uh, no, we're, we're putting that bad boy in the air. With lifelink? Sheesh! The Book of Vile Darkness. If you saw uh, uh, Doctor Strange. <laughs> Maybe this deck isn't a hundred percent terrible. I think it's pretty bad, though. I think there, there there's definitely uh, better things that we could have done, right? <laughs> is that the laugh, or is it like <laughs> they start with the key? Cause I'm hit my stride. What'd you do with the back half of your life? This hand's fine. Two Jewel Thieves and a hold for Ransom and uh, four lands. Sure. Sure. Deal me in, coach. All of our lands were done by Thomas, huh? I don't like the fact that the opponent... Oh, he went down to six. And he's on... I like that, good sir. So now we just need to find ways of getting value. Like him not playing a two drop. That's value. <laughs> or he's going to run out of fairy vandal here. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's not real. He's not getting value. He's trading one card for a new card. That's all. Okay, Overseer's value. So what we do here is we play our Jewel Thief. Good thing we found the Rocco, because now we found our value. I don't want to hold for Ransom the Overseer, because it's not it's not worth it. That? We can hold that thing for a Ransom. I'm going to need you to pay the price, buddy. One, two, three, four... I feel like I want to use the treasure here and just play another Jewel Thief. I want to kick the pace up. Got a pickpocket? No, just a lackey. That's fine. And another shield mate. Sheesh. You know, double block? Yes, he is. So I just believe we do the prize fighting on the lackey here and break the shield. I'm sorry, no, yeah, 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 on the lackey, not on the shield, mate. I could just completely kill a second creature. I could do that. What I want to though. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Or I could prize fight it. So we have the treasures. I like that idea. No, but then we'll lose a creature. I don't like that idea. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, no, I don't like that idea. I don't like it. <clears throat> Pass to the attackers. Do your worst, buddy. Nah, we're good. I'm straight. Come on. So many overseers, so little time. So I think we're going to prize fight on his turn. So he'll have three power, but we can Rocco for five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we can. Because that is our magical number. Actually, I can just get rid of the Overseer here. And then he'll have no good blocks on his turn now. 
I like it. I think we've only ever grabbed the strong arm. Nothing else pleases me. <laughs> Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. No Lou Ball Raw. And then we can just trade the Rocco for the Shield Mate, or we can trade the Strong Arm. I think we trade the Rocco though, because Fish blocks well in a Rocco. Okay, that's fine, good sir. I see you too play terrible cards. You shouldn't be swinging here, I don't think so. That's odd. If we had any removal, you would just be dead right now. Like, that is so greedy. Supposed to swing like this. Play the crier. Go pass in the turn. I don't have to respond to his attacks until he does something to make me respond with a knockout blow. Now, if he dropped the Black Source out of nowhere and dropped the Nimble Arsonist on us, that would be big brain play. Because that's not something I'm playing around. I'm just solely playing around blue-white cards. Same way he's only playing around green-white cards. Is he going to unlock the Dapper Shieldmate this turn? He's at two life, so I think he'd be a bit more careful. Just swing with a fishy fish. Four mana up, huh? Let's just hold in control for now. Make sure we do this correctly. One blocker. We have to knock out blow here. Does he have another creature? He indeed did. But our attacks are pretty good this turn. So if we have any way of buffing up the crier, it's game. Hold on. Well, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. We have just enough. You got to block the two, three, buddy. Oh, pass turn here. So if he if if he has to use all of his mana to untap, we win. If he doesn't and just plays one creature, uh we win. Unless he has like to populate. Good game, opponent. Good game. I don't know if we're playing out of our mind right now, or if this deck is a lot better than I gave it credit for. I didn't think this deck was anywhere near this good, but uh here it is, overperforming. This six wins already? Six wins, bruh. This, this is hot garbage. <laughs> There's like no advantage. No like no real advantage. Our curve's not even coming down that great. Uh, it's just Jeweled Thieves putting in work. Skycar is putting in work. That's really it. And then Strong Arms just buffing up our crappy Criers. Such a dumb, dumb, dumb deck. Some of you high rankers are out there 
drawing cards, board wiping. I'm just out here ready to throw the 50 cups, man. We are not the same. Built different. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and keep this. It's not good, but if we can just get one green source, we're rocking and rolling. Bam! So we can go serve it in the crier. That's annoying. I, most people can't double spell in turn three. Turn four is where you might double spell. Well, that's a pretty good card. Those are two very good golds. Very good gold cards. Right, we're going to try and stop the bleeding. Oh, 100%. It's just small stuff like that, right? goes a long way. I don't think we can get there this game, though. He He's just had a monstrous start so far. Yo, I moved too quick. I messed up. I was supposed to play a socialite or a crier. He got two shredders? Are you in what? I see why you're a six and X. I dust believe this game might just be over. That's nutty. So nutty. I'm almost tempted to get rid of Elspeth. <laughs> I don't know what we do here. I think Cryer's useless now. Oh, he thinks we have the swooper. Okay. Okay. I see you're, you're a cautious man too. Entourage doesn't quite do it for us. We're going to whip it out. There's no point in swinging now. Two ledger shredders is backbreaking. Dear God. Part of me, like, just wants to hit that concede button. But, I mean, like, listen, I'm, I'm going to let him have his fun. It's only right. It's only right. Blocking this kills our 1-1. One, one. Ugh. That really hurts. That really hurts. This curve out is insane. Ledger Shredder and a Diabolus into Ledger Shredder. Bruh. Just a really nutty hand. And if I double spell here, they just get bigger again. It's not fair. I don't want to double spell. <laughs> it feels so bad. <laughs> I'm like, how do we come back? We, we, you have to play creatures, but at the same time, uh, having these shredders connive again for two more cards... Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy on us. Huh. Is this a hand filled with, like, oops all ends? The backup agent has served his purpose.
Two entourages, huh? What do we swing here? The civil servant? Uh, sure. I am just looking to gain my life back, good sir. That's all I want. Would he get rid of the newsy though? On four? What? Let's go like this just in case. Does he have mana up? Yes, he does. So we're going to go like this in case he can make the newsy a 3 3. Huh. That's interesting. I feel like we're going to save Elspeth for a trick play. I will just block the 1-1, one, one, and we'll take one. If you have a strangle for it, that's fine. I'm liking this respect we're getting, though. You see this? I feel like he wants to get rid of a creature. Oh, wow. Maybe not. That's fine. So it's cool we have prize fight here. Is it just double spell? Yeah, that's so annoying. It's annoying that the creatures fight. What do I want here? A speakeasy server? Ah, uh, no. I think we're just going to... Yeah, let's go a little slower here. He's at 13 cards. So we can go... Ah, uh, fuck. But he connives, though. There's no point. Because if we go on prize fight here, we just get blown out. That's so annoying. See if connives two cards. Yeah. Though I could get rid of one of the shredders right now. And he has... Yeah, well, I mean, he can block, but he has nothing good to do. So, yeah, we'll, we'll swing. No. When I said swing, I, I didn't mean like that. <laughs> Because it's only a 1-3 and a 2-4. That's fine. Then we have prize fight for his turn. Yo, yo. Good morning, K2. Is you ripping? Key one where you get in them colors. Are you dying them? I'm really surprised we're still in this game. I'm really surprised. So, for the sake of... I don't feel like doing math in my head. We're just going to block here and let the 1-1 uh, one, one go. That seems fine. Come on, buddy. Play a trick. Let me blow your back out. Oh, wait. No, no, no. no. Hold on. Cancel, cancel, cancel. We want the other one to do it. Cause that's neck three, neck three. That's fine. Go conniving. He 
He's got 10 cards left, huh? Okay. Let's Socialite. And then I don't mind forcing him to connive this turn. So we'll grow up to a 4 5. Let's go swinging. I am really surprised he's just taking this. I guess he doesn't want to connive anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, we're not forced to really do anything. This is crazy. This is going on this long. What were you drinking last night? Dust Mangler is pretty good. Ah, uh, that's fine. So we'll get rid of a Jeweled Thief. Lose four life. Get rid of a Speakeasy. Or is it Elspeth here? Is it Elspeth we get rid of? Ah, uh, no. I think it's just Speakeasy here, right? He can swing with Diablos. Oh, wow. He's a maniac. Maniac. Wow. Homeboy's getting desperate. So we'll block here. Block here. Go give him the dagger. No, whoa, I was almost wrong. <laughs> Do I hit us for one? Do I make you Rondi, baby? If I move the dagger over here, yeah, I can just keep getting a bit more life. Uh, first strike. I can give you actually vigilance. I like the look of that. I like to cha cha a. That's annoying. All right. Well, uh, we did pretty well up to this point. <laughs> Three, four, five. Four, five. Not quite enough. Uh, I think we just give you first strike, right? And just swing on the ground? No, I think it's got to be flying. If I had another creature to play, that'd be game. That would be game. <laughs> uh! Hello? Hello? <laughs> I don't know how we've made this game anywhere near this close. Like, he should have been one. Two Ledger Shredders into a Diabolus? What? Well, Elspeth is dead regardless, so you've done your job. Can we get a creature this turn? That's the real question. No? God fucking damn it. If I had a creature, if I just had a creature, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's just that's game next turn. You got it, buddy. You got it. We weren't supposed to swing like that, but it's fine. 
Come on. Wait, wait. Oh, never mind. I wasn't expecting that, but I mean, that, that was a fun little adventure. He made us work pretty hard to get him down to one and miss out due to one damage. One. Like, a strong arm would have been nice to have at some point. Or even, no, 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 a Rocco into a strong arm would have been really nice. Get the double triggers. So you get the Rocco on two elegants, and then you get the strong arm on two elegants, plus two one one counters. So that's two, four, six. Six damage out of nowhere right there. But it's fine, it's fine. We got one more chance. One last chance. Dewar Scotch. Can he, can he have Dewar Scotch? I know what you had, Ty. Dwayne already told us last night. He said that uh, you uh, you disappeared from life for a bit. Oh, you yeah, the mana pots. That's that good stuff right there. Let's play Skycar if he counters it. I don't care. We don't have interaction in hand, though. See, that's that's a reason you want interaction. I'm not going to lie. For running zero sources of red, Rocco's been live almost every single time. Uh, he's got something over there. We're just going to run into it. I, I don't care. What you got? Swooping Protector? Or is it a draw card of some sorts? I mean, either way, we're fine with it. Draw two? What? Hello? <laughs> Why wouldn't you quick draw dagger into the thief? Did I miss something? Hello? You know, I haven't seen too much Cowboy Bebop, honestly. That's fine. You couldn't pay me to block that thing. Uh, we're going to force both of us to draw here. Let's see here. Uh, one, uh, let's see if we can get a backup agent online. So he's got something. Let's put on the crier. I don't want to. I don't want to overload the jewel thief right now. He could still have the swoop swoops. No. Hello. Hello. So that that was the card word. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, this is now backbreaking. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Ransom. One, two, three, four. Seems good. See, opponent, I can get physical, too. <laughs> okay, so he's one turn away from unlocking his Interceptor again. Wish we were playing blue, man. Rooftop Nuisance is such a good card. He could go swinging with the Limousine. Yeah, it's fine. Just swing limousine, leave three, four back. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's fucking annoying.
That's really annoying. If we rock like this, this thing is stupid. Dumb. Any strong army play doesn't matter. So dumb. We would get the worst mismatch of our life. Playing counters. And then Limousine comes around. Beep, beep. Get in, nerd. Is he going to take the civil servant? Yep. This limousine is stupid! Dumb! Who printed this thing? Who agreed this was allowed to be a card, huh? R&D. Yeah, I don't think there's any way we're coming back from this far behind. That limousine just put in so much work. I don't know, man. I don't know. We tried. What, what, what saves us here? What saves us? Like, limousine just takes whatever we do. Entourage isn't bad, but then he just takes Entourage. <laughs> it's just not fair. It's not fair. Yeah, that's just kind of game. That's kind of the game. All right. Six is the best we could do. Still not bad, though. I didn't expect to come that far with this POS deck, to be honest. I, I thought that was like a two or three win tops. Alright, let's look at this POS again. That gets six and five, or six and three in diamond. I can't believe it. Cryer, like we've always said, is sneakily good. Hold for Ransom is still king. I still like it. Especially when your curve is really low. And you can just, you know, keep ransoming and just getting in for damage. I think there were, like, two non-games that we had. Um, they just kind of happened in best of one. Entourage. Not going to lie. It was pretty good that, 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 uh, the game against the guy with the two ledger shredders. It was pretty close there. Elspeth was pretty good almost every game. I mean, I think she single-handedly won us the one game where we gave, uh, the Jewel Thief lifelink and then flying. But I don't think this was bad. What else might I put in? I don't think, I don't think like a creature quality was our issue at all. I think just ways of generating value was really what like led us to losing that like a few games. Well, the three games that we lost. Sure, we put plus ones, but that, like that limousine on the last game just kind of discovered our deck. Like, yeah, it's cool. You can put you know two two or one one counters on your uh, your 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 garbage one ones. What happens if I take it and then give it back to you as a one one again? You've now drafted a 5-drop, or a 4-drop for Blitz for nothing. Just a really big mismatch. Unless we can have, like, a super mean curve and stop that, but it is what it is. I think that's it for us for now. We might return in a little bit, but um, I am going to go uh, use the little boy's bathroom. And then, uh, maybe I'll be back. Maybe. But for now, if I don't see you again, whatever Jim Carrey says. Good morning, good afternoon, have a happy morning, all that good stuff. Hoobie ho.